Welcome back, everybody. Let's, uh, at this point, let's check in with the Statler and Waldorf of our show, our box Whoa. dwellers. Actor and writer Joseph Scrimshaw, hello. Hello. And you know him from Rift Tracks and as Crow T. Robot from Mystery Science Theater 3000. It's Bill Corbett, everybody. Hello, Wits. How are you, people of Wits? Well, guys, uh, yeah. how's the show going? It is going fantastic, John. Um, your, your clothes are amazing. Thank you. I, th I think uh, in terms of trying to dress like Nikki Six, you might have missed it just by a, a tad. But yeah. Yeah. Perhaps next time, just tattoo the clothes to your body. <laughs> exactly. Okay. All right. All right. Um, we are called the Balcony Dwellers. I noticed on the site, it's true. We actually do live up here. Uh, we're sort of like the Phantom of the Opera, with less hell bent on revenge and less. Uh, you know, we just kind of hang around here and uh, talk to Garrison Keillor. Yeah. <laughs> um, we only have drinks to drop, no chandeliers, <laughs> sadly. <laughs> I Plastic think cups full of beverages. Yeah. Tonight represents a 100% Venn diagram of public radio listeners and Nikki Six fans. I think, I think they are literally all here tonight. Um, I do have a couple of bones to pick with a you, though. A couple of notes. O on behalf yeah. of the people of Twitter, um, you, you sort of... Uh, awoke a geek hydra, John, oh. by claiming that Superman's powers are due to magic. <laughs> You're gonna pay for that for years, my friend. Um, what do you imagine the magic is about, John? Uh, voodoo? Is it voodoo? Oh boy, yeah, I'm just digging you deeper in oh. here, I'm sorry. Yeah, that um, was the Haitian Superman. <laughs> <laughs> He, he may well be Eddie Grant, for all we know. I believe that was Super Mon. <laughs> uh, Chuck, it is delightful to meet you. You are great. Uh, I, I, I trust you will continue to be great. Uh, uh, yeah, you, you kind of gave it away. The one thing, I checked Twitter, too. I have to admit, I checked when I was back there because I was wondering if you were going to lie. I wanted to see what people were actually saying. So yes. I, I'm going to see if that matches up with what you say now. Well, All I right. would like to ask you a question from Twitter. Uh, okay. Do you think there will be a Chinese democracy, too, uh, <laughs> and when can we expect it in Best Buy? And uh, when it arrives, will Best Buy still be in business? <laughs> yeah, you're kind of describing some, uh, what seems like a utopia now in the future where Best <laughs> Buy a, still exists. There's a lot there of moving parts to that, aren't there? Um, <laughs> let's uh, see, if, if, if the first one they started in 93 and it came out in 2008, and exponentially, we would go out, I guess that would be like 2077. I also wanted to throw out the possibility that the Beach Boys might not be drug dealers. I mean, they're making, real, they're making really good bread. They might just be really profitable artisanal bakers. Yeah, well, that's, that's possible, I guess. There's really a good literal bread, reading, yeah. You know, it sells yeah. well. Um, do you well, have anything else, Joseph? Yeah, I, I did. I had a complaint uh, towards Mr. Mo. Um, oh. the, the Tina Louise, it's yeah. lovely. It's a beautiful drink. I think sure. it's getting us all through the show, no matter how it goes. Um, <laughs> not sure how to take that, but okay. <laughs> We're not sure how to take that because of Tina Louise is the issue. Oh. Um, yeah. It's a wonderful drink, but I'm, I'm wondering if it shouldn't have a different name for every wits. Uh, oh. And what I would like to propose is that this wonderful, beautiful ginger drink at the next wits is actually called the Ron Weasley. <laughs> Lovely idea, yep. He is, he is the quintessential ginger. And he does actually use magic. Is, <laughs> unlike Superman, John. <laughs> Red planet, Krypton. Um, <laughs> but really, would you want a big glass of Ron Weasley? You make an excellent and horrifying point. Thank you. Um, one last thing, uh, John Munson, you're getting a little blowback for, for saying that Leslie Gore is the music prude. Yeah. Tipper Gore. Tipper Gore. My, Tipper Gore. yes. Yeah. As soon All as right. it came out of my mouth, I thought mouth, you had something like, against Ooh. parties and girls who cry at them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm but all for parties and If I could share cry. one last tweet yeah, that go, I think sure. kind of sums up our experience. Uh, oh, it wow. It says, wow. sitting at a bar in the East Village, but it seems like all the cool drunk geeks are in freaking St. Paul. <laughs> the singularity has been achieved. <laughs> and then he closes with wits. Who knew? <laughs> Consider it as a motto, John. <laughs> Joseph Scrimshaw and Bill Corbett, ladies Thank and you. gentlemen. Thank you, Thank you, people of Wits.